So tuko kazi, tuko kazi na tungetaka kuambia wananchi wasikubali kuingizwa kwa siasa mapema kwa sababu hii ni wakati wa kutwanga kazi na mimi nataka ku encourage wa Kenya wanaonekana wamekataa maneno ya maandamano because there is no time to waste mm. e, na ile kidogo imefanyika haijatuletea uh, you know, any benefits ni hasara tupu wasting a whole day if you are a business person i think that is a root not a root that we should go as a country and we must discourage and we do not want to hear talks of you know i mean they, they, they we have law and order in this country and therefore it is important na singi kwa siasa lakini najua pia sisi mahakama ili tuambia tuko tuko huru kwa sababu sisi tunataka nchi ambaye ni safi nchi ambaye iko na maji nimepitia hapa wanguru governor ni not wanguru E, makutano na watu wako wameniambia uh, upande wako huku kaunti ya Kirinyaga iko sawa kidogo ingawa pia hapo wanalia maneno ya stima na maji upande wa embu there is a big demand for the same services so if you go to Nairobi we are waiting to complete the northern corridor so and i am seeing some people are uprooting infrastructure that is a loss to the country and we must completely discourage the right honorable Raira Odinga from the destructive route that he has taken. I don't th think that will secure him an entry into government. The entry into government should be through the ballot and therefore I want to encourage the president not to allow himself to be distracted from the course of development. Tuko hapa nikitoka hapa Friday ninaenda Muranga next week tunaelekea Mombasa we will be launching the the huge uh, Mwashe dam before we come back to Kirenyaga because i know governor says she also needs an extra one or two big dams and uh, dams is a strategy for bulk water development which we shall be selling now you know because water is 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 is, is going to be for sale and but uh, there should be no stigma that water will not be affordable because regulation will be done between the national government, the county government, and the Wanainchi through public participation. For this particular project, we have invested 1.1 billion shillings uh, for the water system itself, and then for the sewerage, another 500 uh, million Kenya shillings, which is one of the biggest uh, small town water and sewerage systems that we have in the country. Previously, the policy, I think, was not properly in place to ensure that as you do the water, then you also take care of the sewerage or rather sanitation. You know, my ministry is water and sanitation and irrigation. For this particular project that will serve Kirugoya uh, and Kutus, and of course, the, the sewerage is not restricted to the towns. Uh, anywhere that it will pass, it will be able to provide service. It is one of the, the developments, the projects that will spur growth, uh, speedy growth in terms of uh, developments, you know, construction, industry will benefit, homes will benefit, uh, because obviously to do your own uh, septic tank it's always not easy, but now for towns to be able to draw support from the sewerage is what we would like for the entire country. So as part of uh, the role of uh, irrigation water, uh, you see there is a culture that possibly that was there that these things are free. They were never free because developing a project like this, we use taxpayer money. We use revenue and revenue is given by the people. So you cannot uh, sink a project like this and not also collect, uh, and they are on loans. Actually, these projects are on loan by World Bank, by ADB, you know, African Bank, uh, IFC, na tena ata commercial loans. So let's, let's discourage a talk of, oh, the, the rates are high. They, they need, high against what? You need to find out whether the water is being put into proper use, proper management, and per unit, how, what you are likely to get when we 
sell the unit of water to you. I think uh, it is more of uh, a stereotype than, uh, than uh, a factual position. But in any case, anyway, we are willing to have a conversation with the governors uh, because they are in charge of the counties. They are also in charge of uh, a lot of agriculture. We are willing to have those conversations with the farmers because we, we are working for the farmers. We don't want a situation where uh, whatever we then develop is not of benefit to farmers. Unajua sisi ni serikali ya mahasra. Kwa hivyo tutajari hali ya mahasra na kama ni bei kona pahari inafinya sisi tuko tayari kama serikali na county government kuongea dio wakulima pia wawe wawe sawa. We are here to inspect one of our major projects um, that uh, they are now pushing to completion, which is um, a project that is covering both water and sewerage uh, plant. Uh, previously in Kirinyaga we did not have any sewerage system, but uh, we have now this project that is near completion. It starts all the way from uh, uh, Kiruwea, it comes down to Kutus, uh, there's this treatment plant here, and then it goes down uh, through Kagio. The water goes down through Kagio and um, to Sagana. Uh, first, to thank uh, Waziri for coming, uh, for uh, showing the commitment to push this job to completion. And uh, we're very grateful to His Excellency, the President, for the support that he's giving Kirinyaga County. This project will not change the towns especially because we will now have a sewer system you have seen now we've gone through the treatment plant and they have explained to us how the treatment plant will be working um, therefore uh, the people who are um, living in Kirogoya mm. and living in uh, Kutus area and in this neighborhood um, and even up, uh, we were able to connect from uh, Kagumo site. We will now have a sewer s system and they don't have now to use the local system that we've been using. And that would also uh, attract um, more investors because uh, when investors are making decisions about where to uh, invest, water and sewer systems play a key role uh, to uh, the decision for them to come and invest here. Also, our value for our property will go up. Uh, because now it will be living just like uh, in the big cities like in Nairobi and uh, in the bigger towns um, like uh, Nakuru or elsewhere. So we are very, very grateful to transform completely the way we operate, especially in management of our water and our waste. There are some um, places where they needed to pass and uh, the county government uh, mm -hmm. has intervened and uh, we have resolved we have only one outstanding um, issue and uh, we're in the process of resolving it as well. So where there had been a problem, uh, the county mm. government facilitated, ensured that uh, the families got their allotment letters and therefore uh, whatever compensation that was required, they were able to get the compensation from the national government. And uh, the only one family that is remaining, uh, we are dealing with it and I've given uh, our word to the minister that uh, we should be able to conclude in the soonest time possible. Let me also mention uh, something Waziri mentioned on the industrial park. Mm. We're very happy um, that His Excellency the President has picked Sagana as one of his five flagship projects. And so it was initially uh, our industrial park mm. for the county, but now it is one of his five industrial. So we are collaborating, but a lot of um, the support will be coming from the national government. There will be low-cost housing in the place, and now we are very happy Waziri because the water that you bring to Sagana will uh, serve that project, uh, especially the, the local housing and the industries that are going to be set up there. So soon and uh, very soon, uh, you will yeah. be back. <laughs> I'll be back.